Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Some Letter. So today guys, we're going to just get, get in here doing a short run. Um, let me fix the map first thing, got to fix the map. So we're in um, San Francisco, we're going back down to Bakersfield, California. We get, we're using, we're taking this reservoir tank down to Bakersfield, California from San Francisco. We got 254 miles. We're in the uh, SCS is uh, the Kenworth T680. Let's go through. Hope everyone stood well. I want to show you guys the new sound that's come out. Um, and I just messed that up. Okay. Go ahead and close this up. Uh, there's a new sound package come out. Over on the workshop for the SCS trucks that gives you better um, braking sounds. It gives you. He has an engine pack. Um, he has. He fixes all the cab sounds, the turn signal, the wipers. Um, it's a new sound pack made by a uh, modern named Johnny Cash. It's really good. Works really good on the sounds and stuff. Um, makes the truck sound so much better. Um, I haven't found any trucks yet, modded trucks that it works on. So I'm not, I'm, I'm unaware of any modded trucks yet that it works on. But it does work on all of the, all of SCS trucks. Gives you that squeak noise like that with the old air brake sound. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's been enjoying the content. Um, if you not have not heard, SCS did announce the uh, next update. Uh, the beta is now out for version 1.4.3 and we bring us uh, owner operator dumper trailers and they're doing some cab updates some sound fixes they've been really showing off um, some more Texas Rain. Go ahead and get us a thumbnail here very soon. Go ahead and get us a thumbnail. Still using the SCS trucks, guys. Um, as you well know, I don't use modded trucks much, and when I do use them, I don't use them long. There's always some kind of issue that's going on when you use a modded truck. Some modded trucks, if you use one, it's a conflict with another. Uh, it, and even some of their modded trucks are conflicts with these trucks, um, the SCS trucks. I know there is a modded uh, 
T680 Next Generation out there that I did uh, do a video on. And it's an awesome looking truck. It looks really good. It's done very well. I mean, you know, the interior and everything. Uh, I, I really like to see what what SCS is going to do with theirs when they bring out one out. Because uh, we know it's coming. I mean... We got our thumbnail so we can move on. Still getting some lag too. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking this had something to do with the latest drive update. I've re I've re installed the drives. It's the same way it, it did not really start until in, in video update their drives and it was doing really well it did it was doing, actually running really good they updated their drives and when they did that was uh it started to get really bad lag so i'm thinking that that's where it's coming from You gotta run that 55 here in California. Get over in this lane for a little bit. I'm gonna go through the mods some more. I'm still going through some of the mods uh, and just seeing if maybe some of these traffic mods could be causing issues. I'm gonna check it out and see. I may turn all the traffic mods off and see what he does without them. And that'll kind of give me give me a look at. I have already done away with some of the mods. Um, I I done away with Jazzy Cat's trailer pack, so I wanted to keep it, but I was trying to see if maybe that was something to do with the lag. Because sometimes these traffic mods can cause lag too, so. So I'm going to go through it again and see if I can find where it could be coming from. Keep right, and then exit right. Where we'll I get back over. But I hope it was doing well. Hope you're getting ready for the holidays. Um, yeah, see, we're still getting a little bit of that lag. I just don't, I don't know where it's coming from. I'm still looking at that. Uh, and it could be the MHA Pro Map. Dude. I seriously doubt that it is that, but that is a possibility that it could be that duty too.
Make sure we don't hit nothing. They're gonna let us go. CHP sitting right there. Go ahead and put it on crew control right there at 55. Go ahead and pull up the map here. We got 141 miles to go. Maybe we, we won't get all, in, maybe it won't rain the whole way. We'll get some uh, sunlight driving here in a little while. I will be doing uh, some Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield on the channel. I do have that. Um, I'm going to be doing that. Won't be no multiplayer because I don't play multiplayer. So. Or road construction. Mm, truck losses a load there. Logs. Go straight on. That's right. Sorry, guys. I'm just waking up, so I'm a little bit untalkative right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rain all the way there, guys. Yeah, we're 81 miles to go, and go straight on. That's So guys, what do you think is going to be, no, what we're going to get first for uh, 2022 for um, Mega Truck Simulator? Um, do you think we'll get another truck? Do you think we'll get another truck in the year? Um, I'm still kind of iffy on Texas for this year. 
Uh, they did release some more photo, uh, some more photos of Texas, uh, showing what progress they made. It looks really good. Um, some of the new industry, the stuff that's going to be coming for Texas. Um, they haven't said anything about a new truck yet, so that's kind of why I'm kind of iffy about if we'll get another one this year. Uh, they said we would get one later this year, but you know we're probably about. When this video has been made, we're probably about two weeks from Thanksgiving, and they still have not released one. So I'm kind of at that point now where I'm thinking we may not get it in time. Because they did say one time that it takes about two years to make a truck. So, and if it is the next generation T680, um, are they going to keep this T680 in? Are they going to um, just replace this with a new one? Me, uh, personally, I believe that they'll just uh, add the uh, new one in. Keep this truck and add the new one in too. Weigh 56,939 pounds. He's going to let us out. Blow at him. We're probably very close here. Let's see. Yeah, we're 22 miles out, so we're very close to our drop here. A little quiet, nice little night drive in the rain. Oh, come on, done, guys. Sorry about that. I can't see that light. Oh no, I see lights down here. Hopefully, we'll be able to get through.
Look at accident. Yep. Right here. I believe it's right here. Yeah, see, it gives you the real sounds, the um, engine sounds, the air brake sounds, all that neat stuff with this new um, air sound. It sounds really good, too. Alright, so we're, there's our, what well, we gotta drop this trailer. We're gonna have to back up. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, there's a trailer there, a trailer there. Let's see if we can get go this way and come around with it. I think we'll be able to back it from here. Yeah, that's the only thing about this sound that it needs to be fixed is the backup alarm is it just sounds like air. Um, that needs something needs to be changed with that. Um, other than that, the sounds sound really good. Um, and these mods can be found on the workshop. They are also are located on the mod sites. sharp here. Let's come over this way. We're going to cut it sharp. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it in there. Okay, we're gonna have to pull up some more here. I think if we start cutting it now, well, we should be able to get it turned enough to... Yeah, there we go. A little bit over. I think we can fix that too. Kind of bring it over this way. Get back up under it here. It's 
not gonna be perfect. We're gonna see if we can straighten it up a little bit more. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, see, you you can hear the the air sounds and everything in the truck. All right, so turn off the truck. And hit the button. All right, we drove actually we drove 252 miles. It took us six hours and 30 minutes to get here. We consumed 44.8 gallons of fuel. All right, let's see. air conditioner up to uh, Carson City Butte we'll probably go ahead and do that we're actually picking up at one of the uh, MHA Pro Map locations right now take this up to Lowe's some Owens are pretty as uh, we're not gonna do that in this video but Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I want to get in here and just uh, do a kind of a, a video. I haven't done one a little bit in America Truck Simulator. Um, still using the same trucks. At least the rain has stopped. Uh, still using mostly SCS trucks. Um, so I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And um, have a good night.